so guys today we are going to be making fish fillet or fish fillet and uh, for this recipe you can use any type of fish this is fresh fish you can tell by the color of the fish it's a red snapper and so we are going to begin we we'll begin by cutting any unnecessary things that you won't be uh, needing in this fish such as such as this part we just cut them out feel for any bones within the fish and pluck them out our fish does not have any bones yes oh there's one yes slowly remove I think our fish is good to go so the next step you're going to do is uh, using our kitchen towel you're going to dab on the fish making sure that it's completely dry before we put our seasoning in this is a very important step in preparing the fish you don't want to skip that As you can see still feeling for the bones so guys once we are finished with the dabbing and removing the any bones and excess skin that we won't utilize it's time to cut our meat before i go any further i would like to add before you touch the meat please ensure that your hands are clean so we are going to cut our fish into pieces So guys, I've just finished cutting my pieces. See, it's really, really fresh. Looks nice. And as you can see, our red snapper was quite sizable. We have quite a number of pieces that have come out of that. Now, time to season our fish. Yes, and we're going to begin by... I'm just getting the oil that you'll need. Uh, I'll be using black pepper. Just a little bit because we have kids. Yeah. I'll also use some garlic powder. If I had oregano powder, I would have used it at this point. But this also works. Let me know in the comment section how you season your fish. I'll be happy to learn. Some paprika. I'm just putting on top like this before I rub it in and turn on the other side to make sure that our fish is evenly seasoned. looks good tend to season on the other side For all pieces so i'm just going to turn them around and repeat the process so now guys our fish looks nice the seasoning is in there time to now place it in the pan for the next step in cooking it 
remember to put in your salt as well generous amount not too much not too little either oh, you can see my pan is pretty hot um, make sure it's pretty hot time to put our oil And when frying the fish, make sure that your heat is not too high, should be cooked on low heat so that we ensure it properly cooks. Otherwise, if the heat is too high, you may undercook the fish or completely overcook the exterior. Seasoning looks really good on this fish, so we're just going to let it cook. I'm just trying to ensure the oil gets to every part of the fish as it cooks. Our fish have been cooking for a good about three minutes now on that side. Time to turn it around. It's a good golden brown, you can see. Mom, mom, yes. Oh my god, guys, the aroma is so nice. Oh my god, Emma. Mm -hmm. Yes, the aroma. It's amazing. They look good it's too. It's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing, Papa. Yay! Yes. Mommy. We're going to give it a few more minutes. About three minutes. Still slow cooking. Mm. Guys, oh my god, see? Our fish looks so nice they're just about ready so now we're going to remove them yeah they're ready we're going to remove them from from the pan so that we add the next batch oh but they look so nice time to put in our second batch So guys our fish is now ready our fish fillet is ready it looks nice it even tastes nice of course you've had a taste name how does it taste it's just amazing especially <laughs> the spices Sorry. made it delicious Sorry. yes yes, yes Baba. it's really really nice so the rest of the family is going to have the fish with rice personally i want to make a salad this is lettuce some onion it's pretty big tomatoes and lemon so let's Let's do this.
Once that is done, I'm going to mix everything up with a fork. And serve. Guys, this is how my plate looks like. You can see the fish over there. So crunchy and sweet and nice. And my salad to complete the look. Yes. The rest of the family, like I told you earlier, are going to be having the fish with rice. But this is exactly how it came about. If you like this video, please remember to give it a big thumbs up. Remember to subscribe if you haven't for more content. And I will see you all in the next video.